Hi, I'm Peter from Coffee Parts, and today we're looking at the Etzinger Etzman, the world's first hopper to porta filter hand grinder. Generally, when we talk about hand grinders, we mean these grinders that you run by hand. And they're kind of cool, very portable, quiet, and quite familiar. But sometimes you want a hand grinder that looks like a real grinder. Here comes the Etzman. What they've done is taken the body of the Etz Max, the electronic grinder, and turned it into a hand grinder. So much like the HG1, where you've got a serious big hand grinder, the Etz Max is along the same kind of concept. And we will do a video comparing the Etzman to the HG1. Looking at this grinder and going back and looking at Etzinger, it's followed the whole same philosophy. It's all modular, so you can pull off very easily the porta filter support and adjust the porta filter height without any tools. You can pull off easily the hopper. You can pull off the rotating ring burn module and give it a really easy quick clean, all without any tools. Now, being an Etzinger, the main thing, that point of difference is the RRB, the rotating ring burr, or in other words, it's the external of the conical blade that rotates. Like the Etz Max, this runs a 32 mil conical burr made by Etzinger. It's what they're known for. So Etzinger was founded by Christian Etzinger, who's an aeronautical engineer based in Switzerland. And you really do see the engineering coming through on all products they do. And if the products look familiar, is because they're actually the company behind things like the Barazza Seti, the Lama Zorko Swift Mini, the blades on the Orphan Espresso hand grinder, etc. So a lot of these conical blades and this system has actually been developed by Etzinger, and now they're making their own grinders. Going back to this grinder, being modular, it's really easy and you can pull things together. Now, this is the basic unit, but it does come in a W, so you've got the Etzman W, which adds grind by weight to it. And to keep it all without any power cables, it's actually run by two AA size batteries. But on this unit, it is a manual unit. And we're just gonna put it back together and grind out 20 grams of coffee so you can see how it grinds. Bringing that porta filter in. Now we've already adjusted the porta filter support, but if you just remove it, squeeze it, it does move up and down. Bring in the 20 grams of coffee and putting it on top, we can then move to hand grinding. Now, this one doesn't have the suction feet, which would really help hold it to the bench, but we're gonna go and see how grinding 20 grams of coffee looks like. and there was 20 grams. The suction feet would really help with the grinder not moving. This is a very fluffy and even coffee distribution. It looks really good. Manual grinding, due to the low RPM, allows for maximum clarity and minimum fines, which is really nice when it comes to espresso. In saying that, I feel I probably prefer electric grinder at home or in an office, but the concept of this is beautiful. At home, a while back, I did have a hand grinder as a daily grinder, being the HG1, which is currently sitting on the shelf behind me. But after a while, I do enjoy going back to the electric grinder. The convenience for me really outweighs the benefits of a hand grinder. So I'm curious to know, do you have a hand grinder as your daily grinder? If so, which one? Would you have this grinder as a hand grinder as a daily hand grinder? And if not, which grinder do you have? Like always, if this video has brought you value, hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thank you again for watching and see you on the next video.